coding is the language that computers use. From the apps on your phone to the websites that you visit, without code, none of this would be possible. I was a senior in college and I was tutoring at local high schools in the area and I noticed that so many high school seniors did not feel like they had very much opportunity. Um, but then those students were also being told that without a college education, then the possibility of them having a profitable career um, was slim to none. Yeah? Write it down, write it down. Let's see if you remember how to write that in CSS. And so I just remember at the time thinking that I was 21 and I didn't have it all together. So how is it that the world kind of expects 18 year olds to then have it all together? My personality, I guess, I, I love a challenge and I, I never want anyone to tell me I can't do anything. I had a friend who, who was in the South Bend Code School. I think she stopped. She, she felt like maybe she wasn't worthy enough to fulfill a career in, in the tech industry. Just being in code school, now I have an idea of what I, um, of what I want to do with the rest of my life, and I think I'm lucky to know so young. It made me want to uh, continue and just to see how far I could go. She creates her own challenges for herself. Uh, she does all of the projects and things that we have here, but then she thinks to herself, you know, what would be a cool thing I can make with code? And then she builds it. <laughs> Thank you. Seeing, I guess, that independence kind of flourish with her, that in particular is really, really cool to see. If a student feels stuck, coding can be the tool to go beyond what they imagined. You don't need a lot to get going, but once you have a little bit, you become very powerful. She is a shining example of exactly what that means. Congratulations, Indiana Intern of the Year, Amisa Vine.